everyone, Biggie here, and doing part three of Getting Hellman. Our guys were here. Let's follow. Find them. Time for a little surprise. Hold your positions and provide cover. <laughs> the rest must have taken Hellman with them. If they manage to regroup and call for help, we're out of luck. Better hurry then. <laughs> A coffee maker? Really? <laughs> There's Scorpion Spike. Left a few peeps behind at the airstrip. Rest went with Helmet. They're coming for him. Don't worry. You know what? What? This is my life right here. I step out of one pile of shit. Only if these tracks lead up past the hill to an old filling station. I wager that's where they're holding help. I see. Damn they it. must have Hellman locked up somewhere. Buffy, see that? The pumps look pretty good. Not what you would find if the place were closed. The bastards might have managed to call for transport. We'll know soon enough. All right. Well, let's do some invading. Yes! <laughs> 
Just collecting stuff so I don't forget. Must have been a commercial or something. I'm in. Helmet, he has to be here. More people all around. Is there one up there? Careful! Target has corpse cyberware. I got Vic cyberware. Well, and a few others. Who are you working for? You're in Obu Arasaka. Do you wish to take me back? The pathetic rat's got nowhere left to scurry off to. He's out of lifelines. Shut him up Not already. Not a fan, I take it. You haven't found a fan in him either. Motherfucker doesn't know who to be scared of more. You or Arasaka. Don't take this personally. I seem to recall you were gonna tell Takamura when you got Helmet. Yeah, just a sec. I'll call him. Okay, so... Pick... Do this first? Just remember, you have Helmet and that's one hell of a card. Try to win something with it. Takamura saved my life, remember? Because it was in his fucking interest to do so. Still just biz. He's no friend of yours. Why do you always have to bug me, man? Huh. Takamura, good news. Got Hellman. Alive. What did he say? Alive. Alive. Not too talkative now. Taking him to the Sunset Motel. I will come to you. Keep him there until I arrive. You got it. See ya. Better take him somewhere you can talk in peace. True. <laughs> Looks like your new shim looks here. Is that him? Sure is. Take him outside. Toss him on the bike. Stay right there. The cavalry has arrived. Mitch gathered together a few elder helmets. <clears throat> the road was clear. I don't think we were spotted. We would still do better not to hang around too long. What do you plan to do with him? Just gotta ask him a few important questions. I sure hope you get some important answers. <laughs> Saul. Everything's done here. All clear. I heard Mitch is alive thanks to you. Thanks to V and Pan Am. They both saved my ass. I just hope he was worth it. Saul, I tried to raise Scorpion, but he... Maybe I could help out somehow? I think you've helped enough. I tried to stop him. Sure, 
Just turn around now. Let it all be damned. You're good at that, aren't you? Thanks for the support. You helped us, we help you. Have a safe return. <laughs> Better. Damn it all. She gets triggered way too much. Glad to see you, Mitch, but why'd you even come? Saul, he came with our people. We took care of the bodies, I told him what happened, and he told us to up and follow you. He was worried something would happen to you, to Pan Am. Saul? Look, maybe you two don't see eye to eye at the moment, but <laughs> your family and Saul will do anything the for gun. you. <laughs> the thing is, am I even part of the family anymore? Like right through her, you know her you body. Are. Come back to us. I understand. Sorry you had to witness that. Things just get complicated. Dramatic sometimes. But I will manage. And you. You look out for yourself, all right? Saul, Mitch. They really treat you like family. Maybe you should give them a chance. It is not that simple. Like any family. They're coming. You have about a minute to get out of there. Let's move! I'm also headed out. Take care of Scorpion's bike. It's yours. Like, I don't already have enough bikes. <laughs> wakey, wakey. Hey. Where am I? What is this place? Motel. Middle of nowhere. Any specific middle? Doesn't matter. You're not leaving here by yourself anyway. Why are we here? Want to talk about your little invention. Biochip you made for Arasaka. Fine. But let's get one thing straight first. Yorinobu Arisaka didn't send you? No. This means you must have an offer for me. If your boss will pay more than Kang Tao, I believe we can talk. Nobody sent me. I got a problem, and you're gonna help me. And what does that have to do with the biochip? Got Silverhand's construct in my head. It's literally driving me crazy. And I know it's only going to get worse. That is, unless I remove it. And that? None of that from the billboards I saw. Not even in the Silver hand. Constructed. That's impossible. Where did you get this biochip? Clepped it off Yorinobu Arasaka. Job for a client. But the client left me out And to you decided the best place for it was in your own goddamn head. Actually, wasn't a bad idea. Construct rebooted me when my own goddamn head took a bullet. I always knew Yorinobu's plan would fail. I just never imagined it would turn out like this. Arisaka's prize. I mean, tech why would really you put someone like Johnny Silverhand on it? I mean, why? You have to remove the biochip from my system. It's not that simple. Look, you made the thing, didn't you? So where's the problem? If you're telling the truth, you slotted in a new experimental version of the biochip. How could that be new with Johnny Silverhand being 50 years old? How's the prototype version different? It's got a different engram, something more... Aware? Aggressive. The biochip is what's unique, not Silverhand's engram. The previous version of the chip was only used to communicate with pre-saved engrams. It was rare as fuck and cost a fortune, yeah. This one's rarer. Meant to install and activate the engram in a new body. When I left Arisaka, the so project they was still in the So they wanted a new Johnny phase. Silverhand? How do you put a price on immortality? Who could even afford tech like this? Nobody. This model was meant to remain in-house. The prototype was Saburo Arisaka's personal commission. He oversaw the entire project Why would Saburo do that? If it weren't for your Anobu, nobody would have found out. And if not for you, the project would not have been a success. This is a true breakthrough. Yeah, yeah, great. Your tech works. Now get it out of me. Well, well. 
I would have to see it first. Okay. <laughs> Gotta trust him in order for me to help help me or fix me or whatever or not. <laughs> hmm. Unbelievable. It looks like can't believe this Zeus the one who's gonna help us. Oh fuck. Impressive, isn't it? What a pity I won't be able to examine it fully. Yeah, real shame. You could have been his guinea pig, too. Tell me how to get rid of it. I'm afraid I have bad news. Your neural network has completely deteriorated. It can no longer function independently of the chip. The only thing I could Woo -hoo, do... it's bargaining time. ...is to give you information on a good clinic in Sweden. They'll help you through the terminal stages. Minimize the pain. Wait, you said the project was in the trial phase. You don't actually know how it'll end. Oh, I do. I just saw the construct devouring your brain. It's programmed to take over its new environment. At all costs. And your little meat brain is helpless against it. So no matter what, sooner or later the engram wins. Yes. And from what I've heard about Silverhand, that seems to be exactly his style. Huh. I see my reputation's grown into Arasaka legend. What exactly is going on in my head? You tell me. What's it like to have two personalities? Because it's not like you're hearing voices. You're both yourself and Silverhand simultaneously. I hear Canoe's voice. I can see him and talk to him. You're not talking, but yes, I understand what you mean. Have you noticed the Construct's influence on your decision-making? She's given a rest. What do you mean? You will start doing things that were once unthinkable, at least to your old self. And you know exactly who he was. A fanatic. A terrorist. A suicide bomber. Oh, fuck me, who's trying to mess with your head now? <laughs> that is why I believe it would be better for you to consider clinical isolation at this stage. Know what? That's enough. You just playing for time? Because I can't tell. Are you trying to convince me you're useless? I mean, in that case, I can just shoot you in the head and save us both some time. Ah, uh, finally. I will try to help you. If you come with me to Kang Tao. Forget Kang Tao. Got any other ideas? If you I think there's Vic. anyone else who can help you. I could give you the blueprints. Complete project documentation. Kang Tao offered quite the sum for it. You got it with you? He's got to Gonk's fucking useless without him. <laughs> v. Takamura? What the hell is he doing here? He's got a few questions of his own for you. You play nice. He might even save your ass. I'm almost done. The blueprints. Hmm. Better than nothing. Long as we find someone fluent in techno babble. What'll you do with him? I haven't decided yet. Are you serious? You know me. I can be impulsive. <laughs> it's all yours. I, I can be impulsive. <laughs> I hope we can come to it. Are you sure you're not like Johnny Silverhand? I mean, seriously, he's pretty impulsive. That is certainly in your best interest. V, I will remember this. Ah, this heat. My throat is positively parched. Mm. V did not give you a glass of water. <laughs> see that? Fuck me, man. just look at that. That is not me. You will see the difference. I will be <laughs> Sons of bitches. This is the part where you divulge your master plan to annihilate Arasaka? No, 
It's the part where I say I despise petty merc thieves who think they're hot shit rebels after setting foot in the afterlife. Might think you took on Arasaka, but you're just a bug they scraped off the sole of their boot and tossed in the trash. Gotta go. Hang in there, bud. <laughs> after someone just insulted me! Really? Really? Uh-huh. Okay. Okay. Crimes was really turning you on. 